This one's for all the marbles as one last match to find out who will take the Pacific Northwest Glacier Peak District Event Championship. 29-10, 17-78, both miss on their way back to the center line for an additional note. And this time it's a four to one note advantage and a 26 to nine point advantage for our number one seed on the blue side of the field. 360 back to life as they add to the scoring. That's one note up and in, two notes up and in. The Revolution showing resiliency and returning to help their alliance. Meanwhile, 29-10, exactly as we've seen them before. Jack and the Bot scoring left and right. Royal Robotics cannot connect. No such problem for the Red Alliance is 1778 as they put a note into the amplified speaker and it is still tight, just 40 to 30, 10 points separating our two alliances. Bremertron back in the defensive stance, cutting off access and denying Royal Robotics their preferred shooting position. 30-49 may be the MVP of this round if the Blue Alliance can take it home. 44 to 33, make that 46 to 35 as the Red Alliance continues to play catch up. Relatively even on the notes and the Red Alliance ready with an amp to amplify their speaker. 25-22 in position. They cannot get home. 30-49 does it again as the Red Human player waiting to amplify. They do it for 17-78 and that helps them close the gap. But 29-10 and 360 are just a bit too fast and without the help of the amp, they are continuing to hold the Blue Alliance in the lead position. 40 seconds to go and the Blue Alliance clinging to that 13 point lead, 56 to 44 on our scoreboard. 1778 drops a note on the floor, chill out the number two Alliance captain, picks it up, brings it back to the amp. Now they'll trade places with Spartronics and put it in the speaker. 4915 can't connect, 2522 can't connect, 2910 finds home, picks up a loose note and puts another one in. And as we come on 15 seconds to play, the Blue Alliance continues to lead. Red Alliance trying to get on stage. Bremertron already on stage for Blue. Chill out on stage for Blue. Five seconds now. Three, two, one. For the first time in several matches, we were seeing the number one alliance at full strength with 360 returning to the field. But they continued to not make use of the amp, leaving an opening for the number two alliance to impress a greater score with their notes. Who would come out ahead in this final tiebreaker? Scores are official, up on the big board. Your Glacier King champions, the Blue Alliance. 75 to 54. And the dual scoring efforts of 2910 and 360 simply too much for our number two alliance to keep up with. Congratulations to our number one seed, but please everybody keep that applause going for the incredible effort put forth by our number two seeded alliance, Captain 1778 Chill Out, first pick 2522 Royal Robotics and 4915 Spartronics. They came within a hair's width of taking this one home and we hope they are incredibly proud of their efforts all tournament long. Folks, the event on the field is complete, but we do have a few more awards to hand out. We hope you will stay with us for that. We're also gonna remind all teams, if you haven't already, please return your zebra tags to Pit Admin. Those devices will be needed for future events. So please take those off of your robot and drop them off at Pit Admin before you load up your trailers or trucks. 
for the trip home. One more award segment on the way next. Sit tight in your seats while we recognize the top performers here at the event. And then we will send you on your merry way. Award